Tonight Super Short Show with your host Jorgito Jorgito and Cristian Pagate Cipote Mucho gusto Es un placer conocerlos Hemos oficialmente vendido nuestros créditos a Netflix Así que pronto tenemos nuestra miniserie en Netflix <laughs> Su contrato que ha tardado 3.5 millones de dólares Con parcialmente inversionistas ¿No? Like my big T bro I, that shirt is nice, bro. I like that shirt. That's a medium, right? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, that's crazy. You know, I bought the extra small and it fits like a regular t-shirt. Really? The extra small is a good size. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you right now in a little bit. It's crazy. Alright, people. So what's poppin'? 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 What's Broke my heart. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that one. Last week, my heart got broken, so we recorded this whole thing about girls and rah, rah, rah. And that was something I, I think to be uplifting and something positive. But you know, I don't have that same energy today. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't got the same energy to talk about the things I talked about. I want to talk about something else. So, we are talking about this a little bit uh, earlier today. So, do you think that... A guy should have the same rule as a girl when it comes to the 90-day rule. <laughs> but instead of sex, it comes down to should a guy not spend any money for those 90 days on her until the 90-day probation is over? Um, okay, well, let, let, let me backtrack, right? So, you know, just to give, I guess, context for people that may not know, right? So, you know, there's this thing that's been going on for a while. That's this 90-day probation, right? I think it's all started with Steve Harvey's book, Think Like a Man, right? Yeah. So it's uh women put men on this 90 day probation, meaning that they do not give up the cookie. Yeah, you don't get like, the full benefits. You're not getting a job, you're on probation period. Same yeah. concept. Exactly. So, you know, I just read this question flipped over, right? So like, okay, now what do men have, I guess, like, you know, for probation in mm -hmm. this sense, right? So it's like, okay, so should men have the rule where they don't spend no money on the girl for the next 90 days until they feel like, oh, this is a serious uh, relationship or something like she that? She worth it, she worth it. Do you it. think that's like a, that's something that should be, I guess, implemented within relationships nowadays? I think it'd be interesting. I don't think it would work out because I don't think you'd have success with a girl. <laughs> you hang out with her right. constantly for a whole three months because 90 days is three months. Yeah. And you never pay for anything. Else. Yeah, right. Anything of hers, though. Because the whole thing is like you split it's everything. You split everything. In other words, yeah. right? That's how I would look at it, right? Like, so, so going? it's like that. Like I think two things are would be like that. Two caveats, in my opinion, like the two caveats. Number one is if you really like this girl, it's the same concept like when a girl likes a guy. You know, a lot of girls don't wait ninety days because they just kind of fell right or whatever. You know. Yeah. So they just they just go for it. Uh, the same thing with guys. Like hey, you know what? I really like this girl, so I'm actually like trying to show her I care, so I'm gonna take her to places or whatever, blah blah blah. Right. The other thing is, we live in a very superficial world, bro. So most Facts. people, most people, like the whole idea of like love at first sight of other stuff is, is really like like a like a abnormality to us. Mm -hmm. It's not like a real thing. Mm -hmm. So most people are like, you gotta impress somebody, yeah. or or like, and or you got the other venture where it's like she's really physically attracted to you, or you get like that leeway. Yeah. But even then, you get that leeway. She goes to her friends, but you know what was weird? Like he's really good looking. What was weird was that we had to split the tab. Then her friends come and say, yo, he broke. Don't be with that guy. Honestly, I don't even think that would be, like, weird. I think, like, automatically the girl would be like, yo, like, that was disrespectful. Yeah. You get me? Or, like, yo, I don't want to go out with this guy again because, you know. I, I think the only way that might be plausible is if you have, like, a real honest conversation. And even then, I feel like she wouldn't take it like, oh, he's holding to see if we're worth it. She would really probably think automatically, which I wouldn't blame her, that he's cheap. Yeah, for sure. She'll be like, yo. Well, I mean, first of all, I feel like there's always this expectation of the man should be yeah, first. It's this like whole that, old school show. The cavalier kind of thing, right? Right. So, I mean, I think, I feel like off bat, I mean, I also heard a lot of girls say this too, like, yo, um, for the first, like, I don't mind paying, you know, like, you know, mm -hmm. after, like, you know, spinning yeah. shit or whatever, but on that first date, he has to pay, right? And then there's some girls that would be like, oh, like, they'll offer to pay on the first date, like, I guess, like, as a, like, you the know, test? Yeah, like a test or whatever, but, like, they fully expect the men to pay, yeah. right? And I mean, we had this conversation way earlier when we first started the podcast about, like, uh, if whoever asks the person, yeah, should women really, pay, yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah. So, like, whoever invites should pay. Right, right. And then you're like, yo, you would never let a girl pay or whatever. Yeah, but like, I you mean. You wouldn't feel comfortable. I, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable in, like, a, in like an early stage of dating. Right. Right? Uh, like, now I get to a point that, and you see it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, you got me, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, no, I right, then I can't go out today because, right, you know. right. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but but you get to the point that you've been with somebody for so long, you're honest about your finances. Yeah, yeah. but that's different. Let's be honest. When you're first dating or trying to get somebody, you you're really not gonna tell them about your finances. Yeah, 
No. You're gonna tell, you're gonna tell like, yo, honestly, I haven't gotten paid, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't really do nothing. And more. that's why it's not a good way to start. Anyways. Yeah, exactly. Because if you make a lot of money and you start talking about money, then you're gonna look arrogant mm-hmm. and like, oh, this yeah. guy, you know. And if you don't make a lot of money, but then I might kind of paint you in a bad yeah, picture, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, uh, like, maybe you know, he's not really an achieving guy or whatever. Something. Like so, but but I'm telling you, but that obviously. So that's why for me the whole night of day thing with 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 the girl and you no know, intercourse is one thing, mm-hmm. but with finances is I think it's like a complicated thing because. This is a social expectation that you have to, as a man, be able to support a girl that you are interested in pursuing. Well, this is the thing, though. So, th- I think that this is where the question derives from, though. Like, you know, so for for guys, right, the hunt is, or, or, or the whole point, I guess, right, like the end result mm-hmm. of this is like, yo, when I finally get to smash. Yeah. Now, I don't mean that like that's the end all be all, but that's kind of like, like what that, the hunt yeah, is about. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yo, can I get this? You know what I mean? I mean, you might... You might get it and still feel her and still want to date her. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. It's not the end all be all. But that's like the hunting part of a man, mm-hmm. right? So, I mean, when you flip it over, it's like when you're when you're dating, the expectation is like, okay, I'm trying to get this, right? Yeah. And, you know, for a man to like be able to like, I guess, like show his, to put his best foot forward and all of that stuff is to really like impress her with, you know, his mind, all that bullshit or whatever. But, but also show where her the you world. go. Yeah, exactly. show her the world. You know, like what kind of car did, yeah. she, did he pick you up yeah, yeah. in? Like all of that shit. So... It's almost like, you know, the girls are kind of caging in, like, what we're hunting for, and then it's almost, like, vice versa, too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'm not saying that girls are hunting for the money, but, like, you know, in, in all, in, in realness, though, you know, like, financial is, is security. You know what I mean? That, that's what it is. And, of course. And girls want to feel safe with the guy they're with, and that's financially, that's physically, yeah, all of that stuff. Yeah. You get me? So, I mean, like, that's kind of like a, like a trap for yourself if, I guess, you know, you're trying to, like, be serious, too, yeah. if you think about it. Because it's like, if you don't pay for nothing... Then you are the only like you really give a yeah. shit about this girl at all. You get me? Like so, it's almost like eh. yeah, like, like yeah, man. It's it's like if you really always like no oh, oh, split it <laughs> with the way it goes. Right, right, right. Then you look like yo, she's gonna start fulfilling some way like to the point that it's like yo, I'm not even worth you paying for but, something. But then again, when you think about okay, like if you meet a new friend, right? Like let's say okay, you brought a new friend around and you have a new friend, you don't you're not paying for their shit. Like you're not really paying for their shit, like, like no, realistically but, but, speaking. But, but there's also the idea of, like, when you told me, yo, Chris, let's go somewhere. I got you. Yeah. Yeah, but, but that's different, though, because we're long-time friends, so I, I do got you. But I'm talking about new friends. Like, for example, let's say you introduce me to some guy, or I met somebody at work, right? Like, if I just met them, like, if I'm paying for something, it's probably going to be, like, for drinks. Y'all went out for drinks, if I, I, I'll pay for the drinks, you know, we're all having a good time. That, mm-hmm. That's the day. I'm not, I'm not going to, like, buy you dinner. I'm yeah, not going to buy you, like, some No, no, crazy it's shit. expected that we split the bill, right? Yeah. But we're new friends, yeah, yeah, and this is like yeah. technically a new thing, yeah. But but I think it's just when you friends, and this is understanding that you're not really trying to impress them, right? Well, yeah, that's true. Like, you know, if you if you feel like you have to work hard to impress a friend, that's not really something you want to be uh, friending, too. I mean, but do you really? I mean, I know that we do, like, when you're going out, like, yeah. you're trying to impress people. But I mean, should we even be doing that? shit? Like, no, no, honestly, the best thing, look, the best thing would be if we all had a resume with like. This is my strength. This is my weaknesses. Well, that's all this is my online credit, dating. This is my credit score. This is what I like to do. <laughs> do you? Are you interested? Well, but, that's the thing of online dating. But let's be bio. honest. If you're really feeling a girl, you're not gonna be very honest most of the time. Which, well, that's you're gonna show her. You're gonna show her the Instagram you, the best version of you. Right. It's only until right. it's only until you guys been for a minute that now she gets to see the quirks, the weird stuff, the tweaks. But usually it's because like when you're first dating, it's because it's only a physical attraction. Yeah, I mean, so you try to like. So you put your best foot forward. Yeah, exactly. And, and a lot, of, a lot of your best. But why foot does forward, your best foot forward have to be financial? Because your best foot forward is let me show her the best blank. I can show you the best, but we don't. I'm not paying for the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm paying for the best for me. Do I have to pay for the best for you? Yeah, but imagine like you think. Imagine you know what would be worse? You take this girl somewhere like really nice that you like. You split the bill, and she's really not on that budget either. So oh, <laughs> like, you better like, go for like crap. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's you better not go for that. Well, bad. if that happens, that's fucked up. Then, then, then you probably have to like step in and be like, all right, like whatever. Like I, I have but, to. Get but food. you think she's gonna say, I no, I can't afford it. When you say, wait, it's split the bill. I mean, she might. Well, she's I don't know. not gonna tell you. Right? She's not gonna tell no, you. No, she, she gonna she's be mad as hell. No, what she's gonna do? Uh, what I feel like, it will, I don't know. In my case, what I'll do, I'll. Give my card, like, if I have money, let it decline and be like, what the hell is going on with my bank? Let me bank? call my bank. Let me call- <laughs> yeah. yeah, 
Yeah. Just act it out. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not. Telling oh, until the guy feels really, like, really <laughs> bad. I'm not telling oh, until you. Until the guy feels really bad, and he's like, oh, don't worry about it. I'll exactly. Don't worry about it. But then, when he hits you up again, you ain't answering the phone. Well, no. realistically speaking, the question is when you first. If that happens on the first day, that's fucked up yeah. already. That's oh, already God. like, uh, shit, you know? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. But I feel like if you, if you like, set a standard where. Like from the beginning, you're like, go split the bill. Yeah, go not hit right, back. Okay, now, how, how back. does a guy, right? How does a guy gauge into this? So because like, okay, for a guy, right? Let's say a guy's trying to take, like, trying to find like a, a, a girlfriend, like a, a, a serious relationship, right? Because he does online dating, you know, that's one of the easiest things to do. That's how most people date anyways nowadays. How does he not go about wasting a shit ton of money going on various days? Because think about it, like, maybe like you go on a date, doesn't work out with this person, so you waste like I don't know this much money. And then you set up another day for two weeks later, and then you waste that much money. Then you kind of like keep no, on going on these I dates. Think, I think the, the American style of dating is, is happy hour. Let's go out for drinks. <laughs> right, it usually starts like yeah. Because oh, no, no. you know, you know, because think about oh, it. Wait, hold on, hold on. Talk about you know. I didn't even think about that. What is dating now? Is dating still like let me let's go to dinner? Is that still no? Like, that's what I'm saying. I think the American style of dating nowadays is like uh, more let's let's go out for a drink, right? You know, get the alcohol in the system, have a conversation, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll see how the night flows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because think about it. So, you, so, so you think it starts at the bar now? Yeah, yeah. You get a drink. For, for sure, because I think it's like less pressure. So When, when you you're dinner, sitting at, at a dinner table, there's more pressure. You know, I guess I always think about it because in the movies, they always like, yo, like, you know, let's let's go get dinner. So yeah. like the first date is always dinner. You know I mean? It's never like usually anything yeah. else. I, I just, I'm not, like, what I, at least what I, from what I see in other people, I think it's drinks. Like they, they're like, yo, let's go, out, let's go out for a drink. I or sometimes it's not even like the idea of dating anymore. It's like in social groups. Like, oh, you know, let's all go out for a let's drink. Let's all go out to get right. And then let, let me so see if I can click with this person. That was not awkward. That was not awkward. What's your idea of a first date? My idea of a first date. Like if you if you had to do like your first date all over again, like what what would it be? I'd probably take take this person to a place I like I like a lot, but that is not bougie. Like it's a very chill. Mm-hmm. Because that's who I am as a person. But would it be like to go get dinner, like go get coffee? Like what would it be? I, I would probably do coffee. I think so that's your first date. I think coffee. I think look, if it's a it sounds very grown up. Look, if it's a very successful, a if it's a very successful, we are first, grown. If it's a very successful time, I ain't, I ain't fucking grown. Look, if it's a very successful date, like if I feel like yo, we had coffee, it was great. Then I'll be like, hey, you want to go out, grab something to eat? Yeah. But like after we had a conversation, we kind of walked around a little bit, talked. Like, you, like, know, you, feel like, you, like, like you feel like it's like, like a you know, so it's like you know what? Let's say we had coffee, walked around further, talked, and laughed. I'm like, you hungry? I'm hungry. I can eat. You want to yeah. go eat? And then you know. You know, because I feel like the first, the, the perfect first day flows into a day. Okay. Like, oh, okay. I get what you're saying. Like, now. we spend the day together. So, we had a good time. So, you think, so for you, a first day wouldn't even be like throughout the week. It'll be like a weekend thing. Now. Yeah. Like, it'll be yeah. like, yo, let's meet up. Like, like for coffee. brunch or whatever, you uh, know? Like, I, I, I feel like okay, night okay. dates put too much pressure on somebody. Yeah, that's what I was, I was I gonna feel say. I feel like thing. night dates put like, too much pressure. You know, you know, but there's a difference too, like, between like when you're like, Texting somebody a lot mm-hmm. and then you finally get them in person yeah. for the first time. It's like a very different dynamic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you might be having fun through text, right? Like you're like, ah, like yeah, whatever. LOL, whatever. Yeah, and then when it finally comes down to like you guys being in person, or like if you like for example, like let's say you meet somebody at the office, right? And you got whatever you guys have fun, you guys laugh together, whatever, but it's always about work related situations. Exactly. You know what I mean? Then when you finally go out, it's like like well, we don't want to talk about work now. Like what do we talk like, about? What do we have to talk about? Yeah. yeah, like how do you bring up those things? How would you bring up those things, right? I mean, that's what, I, I don't know, bro. I, I think I'm a bad, like, like when I don't know people in a one-on-one setting, I'm really bad because I don't open up. I'm more about, like, if I want to meet somebody, right, if I'm I, want you to, I would invite her friends and her. And I'd invite my friends, and I'd be like, all right, let's all have a good time. I can show you guys a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in between the good time, I can avoid the awkwardness where I'll have a conversation with you, then I'll have a conversation with them, yeah, and I keep it back you. and forth. Yeah, yeah. And then if we're really clicking, then little by little, we start separating away from the group. So so you think, like, you know, okay, so in this whole realm of the 90-day rule, right, I guess in order to protect, like, your interests the best, you think that it's better to kind of involve everybody, like, in a more, like, let's be French first type of situation. Yeah, but I, I think it takes away a lot of pressure. Like, pressure of trying yeah. to be, like, the best me, quote-unquote. Right, right, right. Yeah, because, I mean, again, like, wait, it's true. Like, if I, like I said, right now, I have to get on the, into a date, I'll be like, fuck, like, I, I, I wouldn't, I, like, I've never looked forward to, I'm, again, I've said, I've never really been on a date, but I guess, like, even now, I wouldn't look forward to being on a date. Like, to go yeah. on a date, because it's like, like, I don't know, like, like, if, especially if you tell me, like, yo, let's go on a date, or let, let's go, let's go chill somewhere, something like that, like, especially if it's just us two, like, that's the first time we're ever going to chill, it's like, eh, yeah. I don't really know how that's going to go down. Hey, I'm telling you, for me, it's like, it's true. I, I, I look, I'm like, oh, I really like this place. Hey, I think we should take this out. 
I won't call it a date. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. it's just hanging out. Yeah. Because I, I feel like certain labels add certain pressure that we don't need. If look, tell me, like, if I tell you somebody, to tell a girl, like, hey, I just want to, let's hang out. It's different if I tell her, hey, you want to go on a date? Because yeah, yeah. she starts stressing, what should I wear? What should I do? What's going to happen? What's expected of me? And then I start stressing. Then is she expecting? Is she thinking? Is she, is she assuming that I'm supposed to? And, and so it's like, no, man, let's just hang out. Yeah, let's just chill. If, if there's like chemistry, if we're clicking, mm-hmm. don't. And if we're not, we're still just hanging out. Yeah, like it's just, it's just it's still yeah, chill. Exactly. Like you got your friends, I got my friends. Exactly. I, guess I, I feel like that's that. At least for me, that works. So, okay. So you think that like guys then should do. So instead of like this whole 90 day rule shit. Guys shouldn't have a 90 day rule. They should try to I, I, go that, that direction. I think guys should should be true to to their interests and their budget. <laughs> That's what we should be. But we're not. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because like you said, you're trying to put your best yeah, exactly. forward. But so, you should be like, look, if you're really interested in, in, in like treating this girl right, then by all means pay. Yeah. But if you're interested in just the cookie, then by all means don't pay. Because if not, you really just paid to try to get in her pants. I mean, okay, so, you know, like, this whole thing, right, where, like, people say, like, oh, like, um, paying for sex is, like, it's, like, the same thing as, like, going on a date and yeah. then trying to get mm-hmm. it. You get me? Because, like, either way it goes, you're still paying yeah, like, for Yeah, like, yeah, the goal, if the end goal is literally just to get the girl, uh, then, you know, I don't, I don't know if you should really pay. <laughs> because if the end goal is, like, you know what, I, this girl's kind of attractive. Maybe I could be interested. Yeah, but, but if I, you know you're not interested in dating... I mean, you still going on a date? Because the thing, realistically, the approach of like, yo, look, I just want to smash is not going to really work. Ever. Let's be honest. Ever. That, 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 that approach is hard for it to work. You get me? It comes by, like, you know, it, it's very difficult for yeah. it to work. So, like, most guys kind of have to, like, do the whole dating and, like, like you know. See what's up. Like, yeah, like, let me kind of make you feel, I guess, special or whatever thing. Because realistically, like, like if all the guy wants to do is smash, then, like, he has to, like, take you out. Yeah. And he has to, you know, like, shit ain't free. Show you a good time. <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, like, it, it has to be done. So, I mean, like, regardless of of your thing, then, I mean, like, you have to do what you got to do at the end of the day. So, yeah. But it's not easy. I mean, I thought when I heard, you know, this whole night, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was funny. Um, I just don't think it will work, honestly. I, I don't think it will work either. If yeah. somebody either. out there, like, if somebody out there tries it yeah. for more, I, honestly, if you, if you tell me it works for 30 days... I would be impressed. Yeah. Because 90 days, that's a lot. Bro. Honestly, I don't think it'll work for one day. I think after that first day, I, yeah, I don't I, think she'll hit you up anymore. I, I, I for agree. the most part. I agree. I think you you cut, you made it clear that you were really interested in her. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, okay. What about this? What if she, the first day that you guys are like, you know, having a conversation or whatever, you guys are at dinner, and she tells you that she has a 90 day rule? Most girls, well, the rule is not to tell nobody yeah. that there's a 90-day rule. Yeah, you just test them. Exactly. You just it's probably going to work out it, hard. It, exactly. Yeah. It's going to work it hard till the 90 days are over and then bam, right? That's going to happen. Yeah. But let's just hypothetically say in this case, she tells them. Do you think that it would be a conversation to have? Like, okay, fine. Look, you have implemented your 90-day rule for such. Well, my 90-day rule will be for such. Which will, in this case will be like, well, I'm I, not going to waste any money on, on you. I think you have to be like a really smooth talker to get away with that. Yeah. Like, like you have to say something along the lines of, look, um, to Maybe. me, my time and my money are two most important assets I got. Yeah. And so I don't want to invest in somebody if I don't really know that it's they're worth it. So that's why I kind of limit myself. And, you know, we don't have to go out to some expensive restaurant either, but we can just, you know, have coffee. We all take care of each other's stuff separately mm-hmm. because I want us to have respect for each other's boundaries. You know, you have your, your rules, I have my rules, and I want to respect boundaries. Yeah, yeah. That would be the oh, something along those lines yeah, yeah, yeah. would be the only way I think you get away with it. I don't know. I think I, I'm honestly, no matter how you put, I don't think it'll work. I I, I, I'm it. saying if it works, it's something like something super along those smooth, lines. like because it's really hard. Yeah, bro. that's difficult. Like man. think about it. Like let's say you don't take it with them. Let's say you do go to coffee. You wouldn't even pay for a five dollar coffee. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's bad, bro. That's exactly, bad. exactly. Yeah, so at the end of the day, it becomes like a fucked up thing. Yeah, like... It becomes like like a, like a game. It really becomes a game. It's like, okay, fine. You're going to hold on to that cookie. I'm going to hold on to my wife. Yeah, and, and so I, let, let, let's be honest. In any game that two people play, they both end up getting played. Well, <laughs> oh, damn. I just moved this. My bad. Um, What's on frame? Yeah, you're still good. Okay, cool. All right, so um, I guess like the the best thing to do is to kind of gauge... I, I, okay, I guess, like, if, if you in this mindset of trying to, like, save money, I guess the best thing you could really do is those first couple dates do free-ass activities. Like, things that are completely free. Museum. Yeah. Take or, a walk in Wynwood. Exactly. Or something that's super cheap. You know what I mean? Like, shit, like, okay, like, if you could buy, like, a, like whatever, like, a cheap coffee or you just get, like, some fucking juices or, mm. I don't know, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, something, like, very cheap, I guess you could kind of gauge yeah. into, like, okay, like, you know what? Like, after the first... 
But after the first day, you kind of gauge, okay, this person's cool, I would like to do another day. I mean, maybe yeah. get to know you a little bit more. I, I, after I that second, third day, I think you kind of have a good, like, okay, like, you know, we, we could continue dating, yeah. I guess, you know, like. I, I think that the the safe, the safe is always dinner because, like, whatever, if all it feels, we just eat and leave, right? right. But the yeah, best, but be no, 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 I'm saying, but the best idea is a place that you feel comfortable in, whatever that setting is for you. There's people who feel comfortable in museums. Yeah. That is the best thing because then you can show them, you know, this is who I am. I love this. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, yeah. There's people who just who like to talk and walk. So yeah. get a coffee, talk and walk. There's people who are good at conversation on this. All right, so you guys can have dinner. What it, What would be yours? For me, I, I think I would take you to like random spots of take food. Me? No, with a girl. <laughs> okay. Well, I can take you to you. You're a pretty girl. No, <laughs> <laughs> with a beard? <laughs> oh, what well, the girls you got, buddy? <laughs> You know, yeah, little groomy, but you know, uh, no, okay, but, okay. but I would say I take I take it to like like you know those little places that are food that I find that I, no one else goes to yeah. that I enjoy thoroughly, okay. and I'll be like, hey, you know, I really enjoy this. If you want to skip whatever, and I'll show you and I'll tell you like you know part of what I enjoy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because for me, food is a big deal. I guess that works for you because you're a pretty. Because we can relate over. I'm talking about like, can you give advice now to like the ninety nine percent of like men out there in these streets? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Yeah, like, you're a pretty boys. I feel like pretty boys kind of get away with, like, doing a lot of dumb shit that other guys... Food is not dumb. No, it's not dumb. But I'm saying, but you said, like, those low-key, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. which is not bad. It's not bad. I'm just saying, like, no, the, I, I think those kind of things probably, like, like work out. So you think, like, let's say that like, for people that are just regular people. Because uh, then again, you're kind of bougie in a sense. Like, the places that you like to go to are a little bit bougie. Like, if you be honest. Taco places? No. Bro, you're a little, you're a little bougie. You can't, he is bougie. I got, I got three dollars. Yeah. Right, even let me ask you something. Even his coffee places. Yeah, like you, know, you took me to a coffee place where they have vintage cars. There's like at least a million dollars worth of vintage cars in there. Yeah, but I, I didn't couldn't afford none of those. Yeah, so. it's cool, but you took me there. Though. Most people go to like eight dollars. The problem with Aquina is that they only take cash. If they took Zell, I would at least go. You know. <laughs> This guy. So, you know what it is? I have to go to the bank to get money to go back to get a cafecito. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. They have a lot of money. a little OG car. No, man. They have that, you know, that never requirement. Like, you have to spend at least five bucks. Oh, okay. That's light work for you. Buy a little hocon or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> a pastelito cubano? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You Gucci, bro. Yeah. All right, man. Okay. So, to, I think. To stay on task, yeah, bro. I think it, it's about like. What? You think, I was telling you, guys have to be clear with themselves. And what they're do, looking for in dating. If you're looking for someone to just kill time with, then kill time doing what you like. If you're looking for somebody you want to impress because you think they're bougie, mm -hmm. then you got to take them to bougie places because you think they're bougie. Yo, from a girl's perspective, what's like an ideal first date that you think you'll be comfortable in? Or, or not, don't speak for yourself. Speak, I guess, in general. You don't know? No? I don't know. For, like, in general, I think, I don't know. From the girls I've met and stuff, girls are very, like, indecisive. Usually the guy that gives out the idea. I, I, I think the perfect first day for a girl is when a guy tells you, hey, I have a whole day planned exactly. for us. Exactly. So, so usually when a guy has the day planned, it's like, oh my God, because girls don't know what they want to do. This is, this, is, this, this is a little bit off topic. Do you think this is why men always got to leave? Of course. Because women are indecisive? Of course. Oh, for sure. Look, I'll tell you, women don't know what they want. They just know what they don't want. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, hey, I'm hungry. Okay, you want to do Chinese? No. You want to do pizza? No. You want to do this? No. You want to do sushi? Eh. Okay, so you want to do this specific sushi restaurant? No. You want to do this specific restaurant? No. You want to do this one? Eh. <laughs> they never say yes. Until, until gonna, you finally like, get to like, like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, I guess I could go there. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, basically. Like, women have cravings. You know how yeah. like, like, guys have specific cravings? Like, I tell you, yo, I specifically want ramen noodles. Yeah. No, no, women have specific cravings. Like, like, I think women have like regional cravings. I want Asian food. I want some Asian. <laughs> I want some, some American. Some Central American food. Like, <laughs> it's like, that's some Indonesian. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I want like that Middle Eastern. All right, bro. Uh, no, but that I just don't know what I want. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. Okay. So I guess I guess to sum it up, I don't think the 90 day rule for men will Whatever work. Whatever You can try it. If it doesn't, please let us know. Yeah. You can, you know. But I, I guess, you know, let's hear from you guys. What do you What do you think? 90 day rule? Girls, for... are you dating that guy? Are you? Has it, hey, that's a good question. Has it, you know what? Let's do this. How would the 90 day rule work for? What kind of guy would the 90 day rule work for? Let's go with that one. Does the guy have to be wealthy? Like, you know, would you like put up with, like, you know what? This guy has some money. He has a future. Yeah, but if he's wealthy and he still wants to split the bill, you probably, you probably think in your head he's greedy. Yeah. Okay, but realistically speaking, if you're somebody who doesn't like normally date wealthy people and just somehow you got like a very wealthy guy who's like, he got money. Do you think a girl would be like a little bit more patient and lenient with him? I don't think so. You don't think so? You don't think so? 
so. If a girl that doesn't really date wealthy guys, like for example, a girl she doesn't date wealth, nobody wealthy in her life. She's dated regular guys her whole life. This one time she has this fucking rich ass dude, right? And like well, he, he decides to split the bill. Again, then again, like nowadays girls are very open to splitting the tab. And having more, you know, independence. Or say. Yeah, trying so to prove I, like I, I, I don't, don't need think nobody. It would be an issue, yeah. I don't think it'll be an issue, especially if you're rich. You got money. I don't think it'll be an issue. Oh, no, it no. depends. If you're, if you're used to it, like you get you like. I, again, it, it depends. It comes in different I, terms. I think most of the time when girls like maybe when girls in like a dating setting, right? Say you know, let's split the bill. Is is her showing? Right. I don't need you. Right. Right. Which I feel like I right, bet I know you don't need me. Like cool, keep it moving then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, okay. Tell you what. Tell us what you think. Me, if you're trying to take me out to dinner, you can hit me up. DM me personally. Don't DM I'm down because he's going to see it. And I don't it's going to be kind of weird. Yeah, I don't know weird. if you want that out there like that. Because I'm going to put you out there. Yeah, because look, I'm broke as a joke. Yeah? Right, yeah? Come on. Let's do the outro again. Let's do the outro. All right, guys. So the camera cuts. It cuts. So we're going to do the outro one last time. So once again, man, if you find us dumb, if you find us funny, if you find us idiotic, if you found us charming, enlightening, what does everything have to be bad? I'm sorry. Well, I said enlightening before, so it wasn't okay. bad. Clever, no, ch- clever. All of that is correct. Dorky. It's true. Comical. It's fact. Exhilarating. It's only right. Handsome. I'm running out of the yes words. All right, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, y'all. Just go, go Migos. I don't know that much. <laughs> Just go Migos on them. Like, that's like exhilarating. Literating. Literating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once again, guys, thank you, man. This is Tom Dow. Till next time. Peace.